When you're practice labbing with networking technology, one of the tips that you could do is to try and make the practice network as self-documenting as possible. This will make for efficient practice. Let me give you an example of that in this quick bite from IT Pro TV. So let's say we are in our practice lab environment and we have R1 connected to R2. We want to make things as simple as possible when it goes to understanding and interpreting the data we may be getting back and also quickly making configuration practice changes. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 connection is out to the R2 device. So R1 connects to R2. How I might go ahead and IP address that then is 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then maybe I use the final octet for the router ID number of this local router. And then we'll do a 24-bit mask. So what have I just done here? Well, I've dropped in an IP addressing scheme that is very self-documenting. When I see the IP address pop up of 10, 12, 12, 2, I would know at a glance that, oh yeah, that's the R2 device that lives on the connection between R1 and R2. The IP address communicates all of that great information. This is the kind of stuff you can do with practice labbing to really make it more efficient. And just watch out. When you get in an exam, an exam environment, easy for me to say, make sure that you remember that the IP addressing that you get in your exam won't reflect this necessarily and just be ready to be flexible. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Anthony Sequera of IT Pro TV, in this Quick Bite.